Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Darius Cooks, and I'm back with yet, yes, another easy weeknight meal. You could phone this in to like your local pizza delivery place, but by the time they deliver, you will have these chicken and chorizo pitas on the table in no time. Let me show you what we're gonna do to get started. We're gonna make the easiest tomato sauce you've ever had. Let me show you how we do it. All right, in a sauce pot, I am going to put this on like a medium heat, right? Nothing too high. All right, I've got some olive oil in the bottom of this pan, it goes. Very Italian, of course. Okay, and then I've got some chopped onion. I'm all about store-bought shortcuts. This is available in every major grocery store. You pass it up when you go to your produce. Just grab a couple of these because you'll always have a need for fresh onion right in here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and season with salt and pepper because again, for me, it's about layers of flavor from the beginning. That's how you make really simple food taste really good. So, and we'll let the onions sweat down all three or four minutes until they're ready to go. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna make like a combo of meats, right? So, you know, chicken's good by itself, but sometimes chicken can be a little bit bland. Chorizo's really good by itself, but it can be a little rich. And I find the balance of chicken and chorizo together is really good. So I'm gonna go in for a half a pound of ground chicken into this bowl, which is half this packet, and we'll save the other for, I don't know, tacos or burgers or something like that. All right, and chorizo comes in uh, fresh and then also dried. I'm gonna use the fresh chorizo. Comes in little, like, sausages, kind of. So you wanna cut them open. And chorizo's heavily seasoned, so we're, we won't be adding any salt to this, but I am gonna add a few things that really scream Italiano, which is a little bit of fresh cracked black pepper. I've got some garlic powder. So that's gonna go in and then a little bit of dried Italian herbs and dried fennel. This has the basil, the rosemary, the oregano, the marjoram, all the good stuff. It doesn't have fennel. And you know, I love adding fennel to so many things. So a little bit of fennel. So we'll get in here and we'll mix this up with the smallest spoon known to man <laughs> that I could find. All right, and I'm gonna put on some gloves and really get in here and form these into like little mini meatballs. And uh, we're gonna put these on top of our pizzas before they go into the oven. Look at that. Ground chicken and chorizo looking really, really good. Speaking of good, I can smell those onions working out. And uh, we just wanna cook them a little bit so we don't have much color. I wanna add in some tomato paste right into here. So, oh, a good tablespoon-ish. All right, and then we'll give this a good stir. And as the tomato paste cooks out, what'll happen is it'll turn nice and sweet on us, and that's exactly what we want. We wanna cook out that tomato paste. And see what's happening? See how the oil's now starting to turn that amber color? That's what we're looking for. All right, now I've got some strained tomatoes. You can use crushed, you can use strained. It's up to you, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna add these right into uh, the tomato paste, the oil, and the onion. Uh, I just can't make a tomato paste without adding a little bit of red wine. So whatever you got laying around, I just happen to have a Pinot Noir sitting on my counter, a couple of splashes, a Cabernet, a Merlot, it doesn't matter, but a splash or two will give you depth and flavor that's gonna be amazing. Let's put this on like a medium heat because we're gonna just let this simmer away. And what I wanna do now is season this, right? Because up until this point, we've not done that besides salt and pepper. So some of the same flavors, a little bit of that dry fennel is gonna go in here, all right? And then some of those Italian herbs, let's add those, that can't hurt, right? A little bit of garlic, because you can never have enough of that. And just to kill some of the acidity, I've got a little bit of sugar. All right, let's give that a good stir. And this is the easiest piece of sauce known to man. All right, so now let's assemble the pizzas. Now my oven's preheated already to 375 degrees on a convection, because I really want to get that air all around. But one of the ways we're gonna simulate that really nice crust on the bottom of the pan is by adding some olive oil. You can use pitas. I have some non Indian bread, non, N-A-A-N. Uh, and I like it because it's a little bit more buttery than just like a regular pita. 
it's like a pita, but like grown up, you know? So we're gonna just smush the naan around. All right, let's add some of that sauce right on top. So this is, like I said, the easiest sauce. Leftovers can go in the fridge or the freezer, and it makes a great sort of uh, spaghetti sauce or pasta sauce or the base of a tomato soup. There's so many different things you can do with it. Now, if you wanted to go straight veg on this, you could. You name it, you can add whatever you want. However, I am all about the meat these days, the protein. So, that chicken and chorizo that's been marinating and doing wonderful things, let's make little mini meatballs and let's add that right to the top. You know where this is going, right? All right. There you go. Now, let's talk about the good stuff, man. The cheese that has to go on top. Now, of course, mozzarella is all the rage, so we're definitely gonna add some of that. But I've also got this sort of Italian five cheese blend with the mozzarella and the Parmesan and the Asiago and the Romano and uh, all the good stuff. So this is gonna go on top as well. These are all really good melting cheeses that will give us exactly what we want. So let's do. All right, and then I'm just gonna top it with a little bit of the Italian seasoning so we get a little bit of extra flavor as this bakes up. All right, and then the oven's preheated, like I said, 375 on convection. This will go in 10, 12-ish minutes until it's ready to go. We'll see ya. 10 minutes. All right, so the pizzas have been cooking, and uh, look at this. These are super golden brown lovely looking, ready to go. So we'll put those there for a second. So we're gonna do a quick little tomato and arugula salad that's gonna be really good. So I've got lovely multicolored cherry tomatoes. So we'll take a few of those and we will quarter them. I've got a little bit of arugula. So let's put that right in there. All right, so uh, to the tomato and the arugula, let's put a little salt and pepper. So let's do a little bit of pepper. Let's do a little bit of salt. Let's do a little bit of vinegar. So this is a caramel, vinegar, car oh, fig. Here's a fig balsamic vinegar that we're gonna use, right? So any balsamic will work. This just has fig in it. So a little sweet, right? And then a little bit of olive oil right on top of there. Let's give that a toss. Just like that. So let's grab one of the pizzas. Tie it. We'll put it right there. Perfect size for me. <laughs> With some of the salad, we'll put it right on top, just like that. Nice and pretty. And then let's do a little bit of the tomato. All right, so the arugula and tomato salad on top is like the icing on the cake. The pizza, I mean, come on, with the cheese and the naan and the whole bit is just, mm, 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 look at that, okay? Now that is what I'm talking about. So quick, so easy, so delicious. You gotta give it a try. Recipes like this, you know what they're gonna be on my website. It's DariusCooks.tv. There's two things I want to tell you as I always do. Food is my life. Life is my food. Until next time, I got to wish you happy cooking from my heart to yours. <laughs> Bye, y'all.